What's going on, everyone? Thanks for joining in on another episode of Exploit Security. I am your host, CyberMonkey, and today we are going to be going over Bandit over the wire, level 16 to 17, and we're probably just going to keep on trucking through just to see how far we can make it today. Um, right now, I'm all about pushing out content. Hopefully, we can build up some subscribers along the way, and we can start kicking back and forth some ideas. And as we do start to build up that subscriber list, maybe I can push into some live viewings. Um, so we'll see. It's really just kind of we're winging it. Regardless, I'm still going to be posting these. For those of you guys that do not know, Over the Wire Bandit is Capture the Flag Challenge or a war game in which you have to find the password for each level in order to progress to the next. Uh, they're pretty fun. I've done a few different ones. I decided to start here mostly because I'm still learning as well. Like I said, I'm documenting my journey to earning the OSCP or the Offensive Security Certified uh, Practitioner Certification. Um, so this is really me just trying to document my stuff and keep me on a natural progression. I tend to jump around a lot. I'll do a vulnerable VM here and then I'll do a couple capture the flag challenges here. So this is really going to keep me in a guided path and then hopefully it can benefit others watching if they get stuck or maybe we can, I don't know, help each other in some way. Um, so without further ado, let's, let's just go on and jump into it and kind of see where it takes us. So the description, as you guys can see, it's posted up on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and read it for you guys. The credentials for the next level can be retrieved by submitting the password for the current level to a port on localhost in the range 31000 to 32000. Find out which of these ports have a server listening on them, then find out which of these speak SSL and which don't. There is only one server that will give the next credentials. The other will simply send back to you whatever you send it. All right, so that sounds fun. Um, it also lists some commands. We may or may not be using some of these. SSH, Telnet, CDI. So cool. Some helpful reading material. List a port scanner on Wikipedia. Um, so it looks like we're going to be running a port scan. Um, so it says Nmap. So I'm pretty sure Nmap's going to be on here. As you guys can see, I'm already logged in. If you have not gotten the password for this level, jump over to the previous video. You'll see it posted up there at the end of the video or take the time and copy that down. Um, and we're gonna get rolling, the wrong, rolling along, excuse me. I strongly urge you guys not to just cut to the end for the password and try to figure it out on your own. Maybe as we're going along, uh, I'm not gonna try to speed through it too, too quick. Um, I'm also running this live. So this is gonna be interesting. Um, so first, let's see if we got Nmap on here. All right, cool. So let me think. And then we're gonna run that port range, 31000 to 32000. So I'm trying to find out the services running on it. Um, let's see, and then localhost. All right, so this is probably gonna take a second, so we can go on and just chat, I guess. Um, so yeah, I, I, I've been in InfoSec position for a little bit, um, trying to see how far I can make it. I work as a security analyst now, um, primarily identity access management within the field of InfoSec. I'm not gonna go too, too deep into it. I just don't wanna really talk about work. Um, I already talk about work enough on a daily basis, so I'd like to avoid that if possible. But I, I do hope to make it into the pen testing community. I've done it a few times. I've worked with some VMs and I've worked with some other capture the flag challenges and I, I enjoyed it. I caught the bug. Um, for those of you that are tuning in, you probably know exactly what I'm talking to talking about. It's very, very addicting. Before I did this, I was a veteran. Uh, I spent 10 years in the army as an infantryman. I deployed a couple times and I eventually got out in 2017 just due to injuries and I kind of took off running with this. And I absolutely love this, and I definitely want to see how far I can I can take this for sure. It's a lot of fun. It's challenging. It's like solving a different puzzle every single time. So I want to be able to share what I learned with you guys, and maybe it'll benefit you. And maybe you have some recommendations you can kick along the way to benefit me. I mean, we can definitely build a community. We can do some live showings. Once we hit 500 subscribers, we're going to start doing some giveaways. I don't see why not. We might as well just have a little bit of fun with it along the way. And regardless of whether if I get subscribers or not, I'm still going to keep keep pushing them out um, just for my own benefit as well. I mean, I, I really want to document these and it, it kind of keeps me organized going along the way. All right. So it looks like we finished up. We got a whole lot of junk. 
Um, we're not really going to read through this. We, we kind of have a general idea of what we have to do. It was pretty clear in the description. So it looks like we have 31518, uh, which is running SSL as a service, and so is 31790. It's also running SSL. This one shows as echo. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the, the false positive, and it's just going to kick back whatever command we give it, like it said in the description. But we're going to actually copy both of these down. Ah. There we go. So we're gonna copy both of these down. Um, and I'm actually gonna run that 3151A first just to see what happens. And let's see if we have any more in here. Yeah, I don't think we have any more. All right, so let's go on and drop that in as well. All right, let's take a look at the description, which speaks SSL. That's obvious. That was the service that was running. So it looks like we're going to be running OpenSSL. So I believe I still remember the command by heart. I've used it a few times. Let's see. Hopefully I don't have to refer to an online resource to remember how to log in properly. I should already know that. You would imagine. Um, let's see. <laughs> And what were those ports? 31518, so 31518. Oh, that ain't it. 31518. All right, so it's like we got a bunch of just session stuff, SSL. Um, we're not really gonna read to end a certificate. Show the certificate, got it, got it, got it. All right, so I'm pretty sure this one's going to be the false positive, but we're going to find out. I just kind of want to have a little bit of fun with it and see what happens. So when we hit this, I'm assuming it's just going to kick the same thing back to us. Sure enough. All right, so, uh, so let's go on and clear this out so we can have a clean terminal. And then let's run the same thing with the other port that we found. Uh, and then let's see what happens, shall we? Ah. Let's take a look. So it looks like it gave us a RSA private key as the answer. Um, so we're going to probably be logging in with an authorized key, um, I'm assuming. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just assume this is the answer. It looks like it, I'm, I'm fairly confident it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut the video and we're gonna pick up on the next level. I am gonna make sure that it works uh, correctly before I even post this video and before I start filming on the other video. But I, I'm feeling pretty confident that it is gonna be the answer. And I'll actually show you guys how to log in after I do uh, when we pick up on the next video. So like I said, if you guys enjoy the content, you know, I do want to push a little bit into filming live uh, for the time being. I'm just going to make recordings. It helps keep me in track. But if you guys do enjoy the content, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. If you have some recommendations, maybe for music or how I can improve or maybe some just tips or some resources I can use for my benefit so we can push along through here. Let me know. Um, everything would help. Uh, like I said, thanks for tuning in, guys to another episode of Exploit Security. I'm your host, CyberMonkey, and I will catch you on the next episode. Later.